Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some cool things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. There's a lot of hints towards new potential Pokemon that we could be seeing in the Generation 9 game. So we're going to be breaking all of that down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this is the post that we're going to be taking a look at today. It was posted by K9 Wildlife. And basically, uh, they're just talking about all of the potential Pokemon that we could be seeing um, because Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are based on Portugal and Spain. So they're kind of just putting two to, uh, and two together to see like what kind of animals are very likely to pop up in the games. Uh, it's basically on stuff that they've grown up with and myths and stuff. Um, so I think they are from Portugal. Um, so obviously they know a little bit more uh, than obviously someone that hasn't grown up in Portugal. But anyway, uh, they titled the post saying possible Portuguese ideas for the new Pokemon game. So with all the talk about possible Pokemon to be with the Galos de Boss, I, I, I don't think I'm going to pronounce that right, so I'm not going to attempt it. And the fake uh, Scorpion. So obviously that's the fake kind of Scorpion going around that was battling the Fuecoco. I thought I'd give some ideas for some Pokemon based on Portuguese nature, culture and myths on stuff I've learned and grown up with. So first off, let's start with the nature of Portugal. Uh, they do have a lot of animals that they share with Spain, like the Iberian Lynx, the Iberian Wolf, the Iberian Fox, Stoats and other amazing, uh, amazing animals. Um, so of course, if, if there's an animal that's based primarily in like Spain and Portugal, they've got a high chance to become a Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, seeing as well, the region is based on Portugal and Spain. Um, but specific animals that Portugal has, besides the Portuguese Man of War, uh, there is the Portuguese Water Dog. So, uh, well known for herding fish and wood dogs for the former president of the USA, the Water Dog would make a wonderful addition and could make a great Regent variant for Fur Frau since the Portuguese Water Dog also have different hairstyles. So yeah, straight off the bat, we could be seeing some sort of Fur Frau regional uh, variant just simply because of the hairstyles, that's obviously something very unique to Furfrow. Um, so because the water dog also has that as well, could potentially be something there. Another dog that would be cool would be the Portuguese uh, Podengo. A cute pup with a wire-like hair might make a good steel type. Next would be the Azorian Bat. A brown bat found in dry forests of Azor. So obviously we could have like, um, I don't know, like a location that is a big forest or something. And you go in there and you could see some of these like bats or something like that. Although we do have quite a few bat Pokemon already. We do obviously have like the Zoo Bat uh, line. We have the Noi Bat line. We have the, um, oh my god, the Woo Bat line. Um, so yeah, it, it's very unlikely we're going to get another bat, but you never know. Uh, it's endangered and only really found in hollow trees, buildings, and caves. Could be a variant type for Zubat. Yeah, which is obviously very, very true. Or be its own Pokemon. A Madeira Wolf Spider found mostly in the desert part. Now, we know there is a desert part of um, Scarlet and Violet because we saw it in the trailer, so that could easily happen. It's a rare type of Wolf Spider. Could be cool to have another Spider Pokemon. But yeah, because there's not like a bunch of Spider Pokemon that we have. We obviously have like Aridos, uh, Galvantula. Um, I can't really think of any other spiders that we do have. Oh, we, I suppose we have Dewfighter as well. So, yeah, I mean, we have we also have quite a few spiders as well, but you never know. Uh, anyway, beside animals, there is a lot of plant life that Portugal uh, has, like the cork tree. Portugal is well known for their cork tree. The oldest being the Whistler tree could make Pokemon based on it, but also could be one of the professors. So it could be like Professor Cork or something. If there is more than one, Professor Whistler. Grapes are also a big thing in Portugal, with Portugal having 250 types of grapes vine, uh, most only uh, found in Portugal, with the new game having to do with grapes. I wouldn't be surprised seeing a new Pokemon based on one of the grapes from Portugal. The national flowers of Portugal, the Madeira and the Azores, are lavender, bird of paradise, blue uh, hydrangea. Uh, these items were grown around my house and still are mostly just bird of paradise and lavender, but it would be cool to see plants based on one of them. Another plant that are popular in Portugal are orchids, uh, or orchids, um, but I think there is there already is an orchard Pokemon. So yeah, again, some more stuff. That, this is what I mean. This is why it's cool, like seeing the people that have actually like grown up with these kind of backgrounds. Um, they, I don't know. They just got much a much better insight into what kind of Pokemon we could be seeing in the new game and stuff. 
Next is the culture of Portugal. So Portugal is well known for a lot of sea travels, but one of the famous ones are the shipbuilding, the spice trade and it accidentally coming to Japan. Portugal is well known for shipbuilding that helped the spice trade of Africa, India, the Indies and China. During one of the travels, Portuguese sailors were caught in a storm and wound up in Japan. At first it was a bit awkward, but later after they began to communicate, Portugal was able to trade with Japan, Chinese goods since at the time China closed their ports to Japan. They also helped Japan with the war they were having at the time by uh, introducing them to guns. Some Japanese words also came from Portuguese words and we also shared some recipes. Portugal also has the longest alliance with England dating way back into the 13th century. I don't even know that to be fair. Uh, maybe there can be some hints at some alliance with the regions of Galar. We also have a, a dance called the Vera, which is a three-step dance that gets faster and the two dance, a uh, couple dance in front of each other without holding or touching each other's hands. I saw a post mentioning Ori Choreo and thought this dance style would be perfect for it so we could get like a new Ori Choreo form or something. Something I found out that was cool in Portugal has their own type of martial arts called, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, a type stick uh, fighting used in self-defense. The practice is mainly in North Portugal and can be taught in uh, Madeira and Azores and, and Spain. The martial art also has a dance called the Fandego, um, and that's obviously the video for reference. It would be cool to see a Pokemon based on that martial arts. I have an idea for Pokemon based on this martial art fixed with Peri Peri Plant to make a cool fire grass type Pokemon. Of course, we don't have a fire grass type yet, so that would be cool to see. Next are the myths of the creatures and legends. So some creatures that we have are the Bruxia, females who turn themselves into vampires through witchcraft. The Mora Encantada, a beautiful golden haired shapeshifter who promises to grant any wish you may desire if you're able to break her curse. And Duende, a dwarven creature who lures girls into the forest for them to get lost. We also have legends besides the, the Galos de Barcelos. We have the legend of the Seven Cities Lagoons about a blue eyed princess and a green eyed shepherd who fell in love but the king forbid it. They were allowed one more visit and as they spoke to one another without being uh, about being separated they both cried and filled the valley with their tears caused the Blue Lagoon and the Green Lagoon. Another is the legend of the Miracle of the Roses about a queen who was very charitable being caught one day by the king having something that was concealed when shown was turned into a rose before everyone. One that I found funny was about why dogs sniff and it's basically about how much of, how a bunch of dogs were getting together to eat and one of the snotty dogs wanted pepper for his food and so one of the other dogs went to pet it but never came back. So to this day all dogs sniff each other to see if any of the dogs smelled of pepper. It would be funny to see something a rock fired dog Pokemon based on this. I mean we've obviously had Pokemon based on like myths and legends and stuff before like uh, Morwile for example was based on the uh, that woman that had like the really long hair that would like eat people or something and as well as that Sableye is based on um those aliens that invaded that village that had like gemstones for eyes and stuff so something like this could easily happen 100 percent and the next is the food portugal has a lot of very delicious foods uh one famous one is the i'm not sure how to pronounce that a spicy portuguese sausage and a portuguese fish di a dish made of dried salted cod eggs and potatoes we have other foods um, as well, pork beef sandwiches, uh, caldo verde, a type of kale and cabbage. So yeah, we could have like maybe some sort of thing based on the foods of Portugal potentially. And then the final thing is we have uh, is the Guitarra Portuguesa, a 12 striped instrument that dates back to the Middle Ages and the most popular instrument in Portugal. So we could have like a gym leader that is kind of like based on that or something. Uh, and like I say, the post like the post just goes on about like loads of different things as well that uh, just that we could just see in um, you know in, in the games in, in reference to like Portugal and Spain and stuff like that. Um, and then we obviously have people talking. This Man of War is a very, very interesting one that seems to be popping up quite a bit. So the Man of War could be especially interesting given how it's named after the Portuguese caravel. They, alongside all the uh, Sifanos Fours, are actually weird uh, guest stalls. So several otherwise independent uh, organisms too. So it'd be an ideal candidate to get an ability like that of Wishy Washy. Man of War has been my most, most wanted for Gen 9 and there's so much potential for the concept. Hive Mind, Deadly Toxic, a look that bears similarities to sailboats, hats, balloons, hydro zones, uh, just lend themselves well to pretty much everything. I'm hoping for a poison slash ghost armada of tiny lads forming a giant undead sailboat. That would be such a cool thing, man. Uh, with the nettles reaching out and catching things to assimilate them into the undead crew, it would kind of be like a Delmai sort of hive mind where the individual pieces are too small to see individually, but then they rearrange to form a variety of crazy weird shapes and monsters. I was thinking the same thing, it resembles even more of a naval ship. So yeah, like a bunch of tiny little ghosts that kind of come together to make a big ship. That'd be, that'd be a sick Pokemon, man. I'd love that. Really hoping for a Mana War Pokemon. We're due for a Hydra Zone and some toxic Hive Mind creature would be sick. I'm hoping for either Poison Slash Ghost or Poison Slash Flying. And they kind of drift through the sky without a care in the world as multiple things get caught in their nettles and assimilated into the main body. The flotation sack could be edited into an adorable yet very fashionable hat too. Or a sailboat sort of look with the fin. 
an armada of a bunch of small lads cooperating to form a big old spooky sailboat of toxic doom. So yeah, that sounds like a really cool Pokemon to be fair. Maybe like, I don't know, like a legendary or something. I don't know. Either way though, massive shout out to Canine Wildlife for posting all of this. And again, it will be linked in the description down below if you want to take more of a look at it. But again, this is just more potential Pokemon that we could be seeing in um, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just because they are based on things native to Portugal and Spain. But yeah, I think that Iberian Lynx is definitely popping up quite a bit. So that could have something to do with Sprigatito. This Man of War thing also sounds really, really um, interesting too. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What kind of Pokemon do you think we'll see in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, 